Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the new two episodes six of Windbreaker. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. I still should have got the top strip, but it's a little early. Yeah, you can say that. Excuse me. Okay. I mean, damn. We got the silent but deadly type. I like that. Like, mmm. It's, it's, you know. Uh, okay. Still hot, though. Sir, I need... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
yes, I'm okay. I do kind of hope that this whole episode is a backstory on these two, because yes, they know each other, very obvious and such but it's just like hmm what was the falling out reason between you two so mm, we need more context yeah so hopefully we get that oh shit <laughs> I know, like seriously, is somebody gonna make a move? Like, damn, let's go! I mean, just shit. <laughs> Oh my god.
I mean, because I had a feeling he was just going to get back out like it was nobody's business, but damn. Choose one. Like a damn candy. You don't want water or anything. You don't want juice. Mizu, Mizu, sir. I mean, damn. Like. <laughs> Jesus Christ, damn. <laughs> hey, but I like one on ones like this. He can't always show it to everyone. Mm -hmm. and, and you really don't need to be bullied. So annoying, you have to find your own way. Mm -hmm. That's almost like, sorry to disappoint you. Of course, that really hurt him.
That had to seriously break his nose. Oh. Not the song. Oh. Oh, this go. Ah! Damn, all like the last three. Damn, y'all all lost. I mean, this should be a point. We're like, now maybe we should just end this group. <laughs> Hold up. I know, especially with the other two, we've lost. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, because what if you lose?
pray. I mean, because God almighty damn. <clears throat> I mean, he could, but it's really none of his business. Right? <laughs> Bye. Just the, the, the glances, the gazes. I cannot. I mean, mm, between him and Cycle, like, Excuse once again, even the little confession of like him following him and such, them sitting watching the sunset together. Excuse me. It, I mean, is there something you want to share with the class? Cause I mean, it looked like that, but I I don't want to you know guess. But yeah, yeah, the the little sexual tension between those two was. Psh, uh, very fucking high. I mean, baby, like he was cut that shit with a knife. <laughs> but no, oh my god. Honestly, their match was just the best fight. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like the last two before this fight were interesting, but the thing is, they ended so freaking quickly. And I'm like, when I watch fighting time anime, it's like I'm not only looking for something that ends like super duper quickly. I am also looking for something that we can kind of stretch over a couple of episodes or just a whole episode where it's not like a three, five minute fight. This was an episode or a fight with a lot of emotions because of the fact is both of these two knew each other and, you know, helped one grow up and learn to fight and such. But at the same time, you know, a downfall. But you do feel bad for him because, I mean sucks i do like their jackets i mean that's for um, <laughs> varsity jacket that's what i would say they're really nice just had to make his fanboy moment again seriously but no this was a very much of emotional impact episode especially with two guys who have had a backstory together and we see that they're on two sides and of course you're sitting here wondering okay what the hell happened between you two i mean not only with the sexual tension but the tension in general my good boys because like damn but no, that fight was good. I mean, like, if we want to talk about... Like, the last good-ass fight that I watched that was over maybe a span of an episode or two was that one episode from Akadama Drive. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for people who haven't seen it. I mean, it's a, it's been a good couple of years. Plus, if you know Kadaka and what he likes to do to his characters, it's very obvious. Um, but that was an interesting fight. Uh, there, there's a lot of 3D anime that's also getting just as good with their fight. Um, cinematographies and choreographs and stuff. But it takes a little more time for me to warm up to those because one minute it could look really good and the next minute it could look iffy. That's why I'm more into do like 2D and I'm like, eh, damn, that look good. But no, man, like both of them was going at it. I mean, because of the fact is, okay, you, you trained on under one, so you kind of know each other's move sets. You know your greatest weaknesses and your strengths at the same time. But because these two hadn't seen each other for that, like a hot ass minute, they're coming in as like two different people. They're more like the new and improved versions of themselves. So we knew that they possibly were going to have some old trick scheming, but like still, like he's like, oh shit, like he ain't seen this. I've never done this shit before. X, Y, and Z. So I mean, but yeah. It was, it was a good damn fight. I mean, I'm ready for more fist fight animes. I, I mean, and some kicks too. As much as I love me some sword fighting ish, I need some hand to hand combat up in that ish. It's just delicious, delicious and nutritious. <laughs> but other than that, guys, 
<clears throat> that is my action view tours episode six of windbreaker if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the magic squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next thursday for episode seven but until then i will see you guys all next time bye